Hey guys, what's up? It is Dylan and I am back with another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial video. And today I'm going to show you simply how to fast forward video like this. Okay, so real quick, simple tutorial. I'm gonna jump right into it. Lower left corner, we are going to right click new items and set up our sequence, AKA our video properties. Uh, we're just putting this on YouTube. Just gonna do a 1080p video like I do 90% of the time. So under AVCHD, I like to use 1080p. Then down here at AVCHD 1080p, 30 frames per second. Okay, so always uh, double click here on video track on the left of this line. Double click on the first audio track just to make them bigger so I can see what I'm working with. And we are going to right click down here. We're going to import. We're going to find our clip, which is right here. A uh, clip I'm using as an example. It's from a GoPro Hero 5 back in August of 2017 when my wife, Samantha, and I went on vacation at Cancun. I was just uh, going to take some pictures of her. And I was just getting some B-roll here um, from the vlog. So I'm actually going to start it. I'll actually start it right here. And uh, I'm going to hit the I on my keyboard to mark the end point over here. And then we're going to want to show all this clear until when I about start walking back to turn off the camera. And I guess it shut off on its own. So cool. We'll just go clear to the end there. Hit O. And then um, I'll go ahead and I want the audio and video. So I'm going to click here and drag down. And you'll notice it dragged. It brought the uh, video track and the audio track. Let me show you guys a little tr uh, trick, a little tip. I've already shown this in a previous video, but um, if you just want the video portion of this, then you just have to click on this little icon right here and drag it down and you'll notice it only brings the video down. However, if you click right here, it'll just bring the audio down, but if you want to both, just click on the clip and voila. So keep existing settings, and I believe I was probably shooting in either 2.7K or 4K, so I'm going to click, single click on this clip, go up here, upper left, effects controls, and I'm going to scroll over. And since it goes to about 71%, that tells me I was shooting at 2.7K. If it would have let me frame down clear to 50, that would have been 4K. So anyways, as you can see here, guys, I'm just going to hit space bar, and it's just going to play the clip. Everything's just regular speed, just kind of a boring clip of me taking pictures of my wife Samantha at Cancun and so um, say you were editing a vlog or for whatever reason you wanted to speed this up at a certain point just to make it more interesting here's how we would do that so say we want it regular motion until right about now we're gonna hit spacebar and then we're going to do a cut by pushing command K on our keyboard and then Say that we want all of this fast motion until about right here at this point, and then right at this point in the video, we want it to go back to regular speed. We want to hit a cut there by pushing Command K again. So this is reg this is going to be regular speed. This last clip is going to be regular speed. We want all of this to be fast. So how do we do that? Okay. So there are a couple ways that you can achieve this. The first way is you can actually right click on the video track that you want to speed up and go to speed duration and understand that right now the speeds at 100 percent if we type in 50 then it's going to slow it down if we type in 200 it's going to speed it up twice as fast so let's type in 200 and then let's click ok and when i click ok pay attention to what happens to the length of this clip here see how it shortened it literally cut in half so basically it's playing at 200 percent instead of 100 so as you can see, everything's going twice as fast. So let's push Command Z on our keyboard, which acts as undo, and I'll show you guys the second way. So, and I use this second way most of the time because say I had an audio track playing in the background right now, and then there was a beat about to drop right now and I wanted it to speed up, well, you'd want that to go to the music. So say you had that beat dropped right there, and then it was going, 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 and then the music changed right here at this point, like if we had an audio track under here. And then we wanted that part of it to be fast. This is why I like this second, uh, this second way of speeding up video better. So if you will watch my cursor right here, guys, where I'm wiggling around, 
Watch what happens in three, two, one when I push R. <laughs> Fake you out. Three, two, one. See how it changes? So I'm not pushing anything, but notice as I scroll to the edge of this clip, how it changes a little bit. It has the little uh, red um, diagonal line, and that goes away when I'm on the clip. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to left-click on my mouse and hold down and drag until that line. Now what that did was is it didn't get rid of any of my clip. It sped it up. As a matter of fact, if you look really, really close, it tells us here that we are now at 408.02%. So anyways, it's going to be quite a bit faster. And then we can drag this clip, which is the normal speed, back here. So now we're going to the front. And I can already tell you guys right now, this is just a little trick that I'm going to teach you guys. This audio from this sped up track is going to be really, really odd. It's almost distracting. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. So here's a little trick I'm going to show you guys. This little bonus. I'm doing some audio work today. If you'll notice, when I click on these clips, both the video and audio turn white because they're both selected, which means they are linked or they are grouped. So before we can just delete, if we click on this audio and hit delete right now, it deletes all of it. I'll push Command-Z to act as undo. So what we need to do is, is we need to unlink or ungroup these. And to do that, you push Command, you select the clip you want, which is this one, push Command-L, and now you'll notice that we can select one or the other. So let's select the audio that we don't want, and we're going to hit delete. And notice now we have no audio. So here's a little trick right here that you can do. If you'll notice here, when I play this, it will speed up. Now notice how everything sped up, and it's a little fidgety because it needs to be pre-rendered. But the audio, there was just a hard cut, not very attractive, doesn't sound real good. But here's a trick. If you will go over here and click on this first clip and push Command L to unlink those, now with your mouse cursor, you can come over here and guys, I'm sorry. A while ago, whenever I told you to click R to get this cursor, you may wonder how I got back to our normal cursor. You hit V on your keyboard. V as in Victor. So R gets you this. V as in Victor gets you back to your normal uh, cursor. So anyways, you go to the end. You select. You hover over until it turns into this red icon with the arrow. Then we're going to pull right. And then what that does is, is that just continues the audio track from this first clip. So look, look how much better this is than just a hard cut of audio. So see what I'm saying? Anyway, so then what you would do, so we can see this, and so I can show you guys, is um, we're going to hit I on the keyboard at the first. Then we are going to hit O at the very end, I for in, O for out. Then we're going to go up to sequence, render, in, to out. And what that'll do is, is what's called pre-rendering to where we can see this in real time without it being real jittery and laggy how good it looks. And now we are about done and I'm going to click in this upper right pane where it's going to play and I'm going to hit tilde key up in the upper left corner to show it full screen. And there it goes speeding up. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Dylan. Have a great one, guys.